Hello, and welcome to 12.5 Tech. In today's video, I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to set up an EV2 Ray VPN using V2 Ray settings with a VMS server. This tutorial is designed for beginners, so take your time to follow along carefully. Make sure to watch till the end for a complete understanding, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech content. Let's get started. Step one, to set up the VPN, the first thing we need is a V2 Ray server. Open any web browser on your device. Once it loads, go to the search bar and type in UDP Custom, then hit Enter. This will bring up a list of search results. Look for the official UDP Custom website and click on it to access their homepage. On the homepage, you'll notice a menu icon, usually located at the top of the page. Tap on it to reveal all available menu options. From these options, select the one labeled V2 Ray. This will take you to the page where you can create your V2 Ray server. Here you'll need to fill in some details. Enter a username, complete the reCAPTCHA verification, and then click on the Create button. It will take a few seconds to generate your server. Once done, you'll receive the V2 Ray server details. Make sure to copy the server configuration to your clipboard for use in the next steps. Step 2. Now that we have our server details, we need the EV2 Ray VPN app to use them. Open the Play Store on your device and search for E-V2 Ray in the search bar. From the search results, tap on the EV2 Ray app and proceed to download and install it. The process may take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Once the installation is complete, open the app to proceed to the next step. Step 3. When you launch the EV2 Ray app, you'll land on its home screen. To configure the server, look at the bottom of the app, where you'll find a button labeled Editor. Tap on it to open a new window. Here you can paste the server configuration details you copied earlier. If for some reason the details don't paste correctly, it may be due to formatting issues. To fix this, first paste the details into a text editor or a note-taking app, then copy them again and paste them here. Once the server details are successfully imported, you can move to the next step. If you'd like to add extra security, you can configure the SNI server name indication. Tap on the mobile icon within the app, and in the field provided, enter any valid SNI. This step is optional but can enhance security. Once done, return to the VPN home screen. Step 4. After successfully configuring the server, you might want to save it for future use so you don't have to import it every time. On the app's home screen, tap on the plus icon, then select Save Config. A pop-up window will appear, asking you to name your configuration. Choose a name that's easy to remember and tap Save. The app will redirect you to your mobile storage where you can store the configuration file. Step 5. To connect to the VPN, tap on the radio button next to the configuration you just saved. Alternatively, if you save the configuration file, you can import it by tapping on the plus icon and selecting Open Config. Navigate to where you saved the file, select it, and then tap the Connect button. The VPN will begin connecting, and you'll see logs and a notification confirming the connection once it's successful. To verify that your IP address has changed, you can visit any What Is My IP website. This step confirms that your VPN is working as expected. Conclusion That's it. You've successfully set up an EV2 Ray VPN using V2 Ray settings with a VMS server. With this setup, you can enjoy a secure and private browsing experience. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to 12.5 Tech for more tech tips and tutorials. See you in the next video.